everyone, Lucamus Prime here, so it's time for another movie review today, and today guys, we're going to be reviewing um, a live action adaptation of a work by J.R. Tolkien, and so, I've already reviewed three animated adaptations guys, two of which I hated, one I thought was decent, and now, we're going to be, f going to be reviewing uh, one of my all time favourite adaptations, which is definitely The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, based on a book of the same name by J.R.R. Tolkien, directed by Peter Jackson. So yeah, now this is a movie that I really, really love. It's one of my favourite movies of all time, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. So, so um, what's this film about? So this is a direct adaptation of the book by Tolkien, and yeah, I really love it. It's really great, so yeah. So it's all about, you know, um, the War of the Ring, uh, and so it begins with an incredible battle, in the battle of um the of the second age of middle earth and it was really amazing um really good and so yeah and like i mean it started with a battle so yeah what else do i need to say it is really amazing um now um what can i say that's great about this movie there's a lot to say really so yeah i really love um the cast of this movie definitely like the cast of the movie does an incredible job as their characters um, I've got to give high praise to Elijah Wood as Frodo Baggins. Um, Elijah Wood made me really believe in Frodo as a character, most definitely. Um, I especially loved um, Sean Astin as, as Samwise Gamgee. Um, you know, he also made me love the character as well. And I loved um, his chemistry with Elijah Wood as well. It was very good. The same can also be applied to um, Dominic Monaghan as Mary Ardock Brandybuck or Mary. And also Billy Boyd as Peregrine or Pippin Tuck, yeah. I like their chemistry, it was very good. And I also really want to give very, very, very high praise to the amazing Sir Ian McKellen as Gandalf the Grey. Because Sir Ian McKellen was absolutely perfect for a role, and like, his performance, shall I say, was magical. No pun intended, because he's a wizard. <laughs> um, and it, it made Gandalf, like, my favourite character in, like, the entire Tolkien franchise, definitely. His performance in the movie was spectacular. Um, I also really loved um, Viggo Mortensen as Aragorn, definitely. Um, I mean, it was his portrayal that made Aragorn my favourite member of the Fellowship of the Ring. And he was brilliant in this movie. Yeah. I loved how he got introduced him in Bree, and like how he joined the Hobbits and took them to Weathertop. And um, I especially liked his fighting with the Ring Graves on Weathertop. It was really fun to watch. It was very good. Um... I also love the other members, like, I especially loved Orlando Bloom as Legolas, I thought he was another great casting choice for a role, and also John Reese davis as Gimli, you know, Salah from Indiana Jones playing Gimli, he was another perfect choice. I especially really loved um, Sean Bean as Boromir as well, I thought he was a perfect choice, and of course, um, he's pr pretty popular in this movie for spawning the famous meme about the one does not simply walk into Mordor meme, so yeah, he says it in this movie, guys, yeah. This movie gives him a more screen time. I mean, he plays like the biggest role in this film. In the other films, he of course has flashback or hallucination roles because, because sadly, guys, he does get killed off at the end of the movie, um, which was quite a sad scene actually. Yeah, but at least he died fighting for Merry and Pippin to escape. But unfortunately, they got captured when they wanted to fight for him when he was knocked down, defeated. Um, but yeah, at least he died, you know, in an attempt to protect them, you know, as a hero. And he redeemed himself because he was going mad from the ring. He wanted to redeem himself, didn't he? Um, oh yeah. I also definitely really loved um, Hugo Weaving as Lord Elrond of Rivendell. Like, he, he's my favourite Elrond and he's, he's also one of my favourite actors of all time. I thought he was um, an amazing choice for a role. And I, I did also love um, Liv Tyler as Lady Arwen. I like how when these films give her a slightly bigger role than the books, really, as well. Because I think she deserves, she's, she's quite an important character, really, you know. She might have a small role, but at least she's important. And it's proven here because she helps take Frodo to Rivendell when he's been stabbed by the Ringwraith by a Morgul blade. And as well, uh, another character that I also really loved in this film was definitely Sam Amber White, played by the legendary Sir Christopher Lee, may rest in peace. Um... You know, guys, it's real hard to say whether I like Sir Christopher Lee more as Count Dooku or as Saruman the White, because in this film, he was brilliant as Saruman. Like, he was menacing, terrifying, wise as well, because, he, you know, Gandalf says that he's wise and powerful, and he is, he's right, yeah. 
I especially love the fight scene in, in, you know, the tower as well between Gandalf and Saruman as well. It was very good. Very great choreography as well for Wizards. It was really good. And, yeah. Another honourable mention I've got to give is definitely as well to um, to Howard Shaw's music. Because his music is absolutely beautiful and godly. It's really incredible. Like, um, I love his theme that he composed for the Shire. You know, cur courtesy of Hobbits, I think it's called. You know, concerning Hobbits. Yeah, it's concerning. Yeah, my mistake. Um, yeah, it's called Concerning Hobbits. Um, I love that track. I also love the theme that he composed for the Ring Reps as well. It was very good. And also the theme for Sauron as well. It was very good. And of course, um, the theme for Fellowship of the Ring, you know, na, 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 na. You know, that one. Um, it was very good. I like the variation of it plays as well when they're running to the Bridge of Khazad Doom as well. That was also really good. The sequence in Reminds of Mori was, was another highlight of the movie as well, definitely. It was very good. Um, but my favourite scene in the film, guys, um, is probably um, Gandalf's conversation with Uwe Balrog. I think it was, I mean, once again, sublime performance by Serene McKellen as Gandalf. Like, his delivery of the lines to a bog was, was perfect acting. And, you know, the way he yells, you shall not pass. Oh, man. Perfect in every way. Um, and it was pretty emotional, you know, when if he, he saw Gandalf die. But, yeah, if you watch the next films, you'll be aware that he's not dead. Because he's coming back as Gandalf for white. But he was pretty sad, though, when he appeared to have died. Um, but... You know, but that, that's why my favourite scene, because it was brilliant, it was tragic, and it was powerful, it was great to watch, it was amazing. Um, and of course, um, the ending of the movie also was very promising, because it was setting up, you know, the journey to Mordor, as well, and Fraud on Sam's adventure, as well. Um, so yeah, this movie, for it's worth, is incredible, and I really loved it. Um, so, um... Oh, you yeah, know, thing as well that I do love is definitely the visuals because the shots in this movie are absolutely beautiful. Really amazing shots. Very well visualised, definitely. Um, now, um, I've only got like, like a couple of beats with this movie, which is why it's not my favourite Middle Earth adaptation. My favourite is Return of the King, but I'll tell you why this isn't really my favourite. Um, one being that I wish they gave more screen time to Gollum because um, Gollum doesn't really appear much in this movie. He only appears in my flashback in, you know, uh, in, um, in his cave at the beginning, and um, uh, then of course, uh, we then of course see him being tortured by the orcs, um, for, for the location of the ring, and then of course he appears briefly in Moria, where he's shown to be um, watching them, you know, the fellowship, but we don't see him again, sadly. And, um, but, I can understand why they didn't show him completely, it's because they hadn't finished designing him completely yet, so... I can understand why he's not really in the movie very much. Um, so I, I kind of like that pass, really. But luckily, he has a bigger role in, in the next two films. And another thing as well that I do think as well is that um, some of the CGI could have needed a bit of work, maybe. But when you think about it, it was made, you know, 20 years ago, guys. So, you know, it's understandable if it's not going to hold up to this day. But, you know, there are some, you know, shots with the CGI that I think hold up, such as the, the CGI for the cave troll. For example, I think that holds up to this day. I think the Balrog could have been a bit, you know, better as well, maybe. So, I'm hoping if they do, like, a remastered version, they could probably, like, you know, remake the Balrog to look much more, you know, holding up to this day, if you get what I mean. Um, But, yeah, I, I, I also do love the extended edition as well, you know. One thing I do like about the extended version, guys, is I like how it expands on the scene with the Stone Trolls. And, and Sam says to Frodo, you know, Mr. Frodo, look. It's Mr. Bilbo's trolls. So, yeah, he recognised them because in the actual film, you know, they just, you know, camp there. They don't mention the trolls at all. The trolls like there for cameo appearance are not mentioned on screen, sadly. But but luckily, they are an extended version. Oh, yeah, speaking of Bilbo, um, I did also really love Serene Holm as Bilbo Baggins. May he rest in peace. He was brilliant in the role of Bilbo. My favourite Bilbo of all time. Like, he brought Bilbo to life so well. Um, he was brilliant, and, um, yeah, may, may rest in peace. So, yeah, he was great. But, yeah, and um, this is a very faithful adaptation of a book, guys, because uh, I love the book, and I love the film as well, and it's beautiful. Oh, yeah, speaking of beauty, guys, and the music, um, one thing I do love is I love the credits music by Enya. Um, she's one of my uncle's favourite singers before he passed away. You know, she, he really loved Enya before he passed away, yeah. 
Um, so yeah, that's why I did love, you know, that they included her. It was like a bit, you know, of a memory of Uncle, really. Yeah, the song in the credits called May It Be is absolutely beautiful because um, when I read this book, guys, I actually listened to a song in the background and, and it fitted pretty well, to be honest, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, and she also did a song called Annie Aaron, I think it's called, yeah. So yeah, I did love having included her singing, yeah, she's got a beautiful voice, definitely. So, so if you're asking me why I'd give this movie out of 10, guys, um, I'm going to straight away give it a flat out 10 out of 10 because I think it's perfect and absolutely beautiful. Just like A New Hope of Star Wars, it was a perfect start to a perfect trilogy. So, yeah, I love it. So, guys, um, this is me reviewing The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring by Peter Jackson, directed by him. So, you know, draw, guys, um, be sure to give this video a like. Um, also, so be sure to let us on the comments uh, what you guys uh, think. We'd love to hear what you guys think. Tell me we, we, we score it out of 10. Also, be sure to join Team Prime, press and subscribe for more videos coming in the future. And, fly, you fools!